case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a precedent setting 1996 Colorado Supreme Court case, People v. Chapel, a lawyer found herself on the wrong side of the law. Peggy Chapel was held accountable for not upholding her professional and ethical obligation to honesty, instead aiding her client in unlawful activities. In the initial divorce proceedings, Chappelle advised her client to violate a custodial court order by fleeing with the couple's child. Further, Chappell enticed her client to engage in fraudulent activities against her husband. This misconduct not only led to felony charges for the client, but also a recommendation for Chapel's disbarment. The couple involved, married since 1991, had sought Chapel's legal services for their separation. In January 1994, the husband moved out, prompted by a restraining order that prohibited either parent from taking their son out of the state of Colorado. Temporarily, the court granted the wife custody and usage of the family home. The husband was ordered to provide financial support. Things took a dramatic turn when a custody evaluator suggested granting sole custody to the husband following a temporary orders hearing. In response, Chappelle advised her client to abscond, even providing safe house locations and aiding in the liquidation of joint assets and emptying shared bank accounts. She further enlisted the assistance of a friend to pack the marital home and secure the client's belongings. In a unanimous decision, the Colorado Supreme Court decided to disbar Chapel, ruling that she had violated key professional standards. She was removed from the authorized attorneys list and was ordered to bear the costs of proceedings, payable to the Supreme Court Grievance Committee, within 30 days. Chappelle's disregard of the law serves as a cautionary tale for other attorneys that justice leaves no stone unturned, even among its own. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class